there is a, a narrative in which the new direction of cognitive science is one that makes a great deal more use of probabilistic information that is gleaned from enormous amounts of uh, experience during learning. This is a, uh, manifested in branches of cognitive science such as uh, neural networks and connectionism, Bayesian inference models, uh, application of machine learning to intelligence. Uh, in the classic work from the golden age, including the, the models of uh, generative grammar and probabilities don't play a big role. Uh, is the narrative that says that the direction of the field is in making use of massive amounts of statistical information via learning. Uh, Noam? I mean, it's true. There's been a lot of work on uh, trying to apply uh, statistical uh, models to various linguistic problems. I think there have been some successes, but a lot of failures. The successes that I know of are those that integrate statistical analysis with some uh, a universal grammar property, some fundamental properties of language. When they're integrated, you sometimes do get results. I wrote about it in 1955. On the other hand, there's a lot of work which tries to do sophisticated statistical analysis, you know, Bayesian and so on and so forth, without any concern for the uh, actual structure of language. As far as I'm aware, that only achieves success in a very odd sense of success. There is a notion of success which has developed in computational cognitive science in recent years, which I think is novel in the history of science. It interprets success as uh, approximating unanalyzed data. So for example, if you were, say, to study B communication this way, if you simply did extensive videotaping of bees swarming, okay, and you did you know, a lot of statistical analysis of it, uh, you would get a pretty good prediction for what bees are likely to do next time they swarm. Actually, you get a better prediction than bee scientists do, and they wouldn't care. I mean, actually, you could do physics this way. Uh, if you uh, took a ton of videotapes of what's happening outside my office window, let's say, you know, leaves flying and various things, and you did an extensive analysis of them, you would get some kind of prediction of what's likely to happen next. Certainly way better than anybody in the physics department could give. Well, that's a notion of success which is, I think, novel. I don't know of anything like it in the history of science. Uh, and in, in those terms, you get some kind of successes. And if you look at the literature in the field, a lot of these papers are listed as successes. And when you look at them carefully, they're successes in this particular sense, and not the sense that science has ever been interested in. I don't know of any other cases, frankly. Thank you.